Hey guys, it's your girl Ish back with another video. And today I'm coming to you guys with the 20 lock tag video. So it's 20 questions. I answered all 20 to the best of my ability. And if you guys want to see what my answers were, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see. Feel free to subscribe below to stick around. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back y'all. All right guys, so let's get into these lock questions. So if you hear rattling or you see me looking down, I'm looking at the paper because I had to write all the questions down because there are 20 of them. So let's try to get them quickly. Okay, number one, do you remember the specific moment you decided to lock your hair? Where were you and how did you feel? I knew I was gonna lock my hair when I cut the first set. So that was in 2017. I wanted to not only start over with a bigger size, but I wanted to experience having short hair for a while and then allow my hair to grow out and see how my natural hair texture, you know, is and how I can work with it and all of that stuff. However, once my natural hair got to be a certain length, I want to say maybe about this long, I knew that I would not tolerate or deal with it any longer than that because my hair is really thick and it's really dense and combing, detangling and styling, absolutely not. I didn't have time. How did I feel? Um, I didn't really feel any kind of way specifically. So yeah, didn't really feel any kind of way. Uh, number two, what method did you use to start your locks? I started my locks with two strand twists. Number three, how old are your locks? My locks are 13 months old as of November 16th. November 16th. I don't know why I keep stumbling over my words. <sighs> Number four, what is the length of your longest and shortest lock? I think they're all the same size. Some of them look longer based on placement in my head, but yeah, they're pretty much all the same. Do you have any locks that are especially unique, strange, or awesome? Yes. So this lock here has a dent and then a little bubble and then the end. And I don't know why it's like that, but it is. Also, let me turn around so y'all can see. I have a flat lock in the back of my head. So this lock here, it's rounded, you know, where I retwisted it, and then it is flat. So it goes straight like that, and then it's round again at the end. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know why he's flat like that, but he is. And then, let me take this style down so y'all can see the ones in the front. I think I've showed them to you before. Uh, so these three, this one has a little dent too. It's not that noticeable, but I can feel it. This one got dense and it's kind of it like twist this way. So there's a little flat section right there, it's rounded and then it's flat and then it goes this way. And then you can see that one is just all kind of little witch ways. And I'm not putting my hair back up, so we'll just continue. Um, let's see where we were, number five. So number six, how many locks do you have currently? Is that the same number you started with? I currently have 46 locks. And no, I started with 54, but due to my edges thinning out in the beginning, I combined most of the ones around the perimeter of my head and one in the back too. Number seven, what shampoo products do you use? I'm still using the Carol's Daughter Wash Day shampoo. It's a like a water to foam type situation and I really, really like it so far. It, it cleans my hair really good. Number eight, how often do you wash? I wash my hair every two to three weeks depending on how my scalp is feeling or if it's like getting kind of flaky, then I wash it before two weeks. But so far every two to three weeks. Number nine, do you do any regular maintenance on your locks? Yes, every three days I oil my scalp and every two days I will spray it with rose water and then seal it with oil on the shafts. 
Uh, let's see. Number 10, what are your favorite beads or decorations? I don't have any. Maybe as they get longer, I'll experiment with some, but right now, none. Number 11, if your locks had their own personal motto, what would it be? Hmm. Mind the business that pays you. And I say that because everybody are always, they're so concerned with my hair and what I'm doing. And my hair has no, you know, nothing to do with them, their life or anything going on. So yeah, mind the business that pays you. That's it. Number 12, if you could start a new set of locks, would you do anything different? The only thing, honestly, that I would do differently would probably do diamond parting, only because I like how they fall in between each other better. I mean, my locks fall kind of, well, you know, this one is sticking up, but they fall, but you know, between kind of good, but I just, I don't know, I like the way diamond parts look a little better than squares, but seeing as though I started these myself, squares gonna have to do. 13, is there anything else unique about your appearance other than your locks, tattoos, piercings, etc.? Tattoos, I have eight. So there's one here. I have one on my lower stomach, one on my forearm here. I have one here. So I'll show y'all those once y'all can see. So I have this one. It says queen. Then I have my Adinkra symbols right there. This one, of course, like I said, y'all see in most of my videos. I have one on my left, like side leg. And then I have one on my inner ankle on that same leg. One on my lower back. And is that eight? One, two, three. Five, six. I feel like I'm missing something. I can't think, but it's eight of them. Piercings. I have a date. I have a helix. Two lobes. Tragus. Conch. Two lobes on this side, too and another uh, cartilage one that I don't have in. I have my tongue pierced, but I took that out. Septum and nostril piercing. That's all. Uh, 14, how many people do you know personally with locks? My sister, I started her locks two years ago. My cousin has locks. One of my close girlfriends, she has locks and she started on her own. They're beautiful, I'm so proud of her. And um, another friend of mine, has, has, she's starting her locks right now too. So just a couple, pers you know, in, in my personal life. 15, have any employers ever turned you down for a job or wanted you because of your locks? Nah, <laughs> no, no, never. 16. What is the weirdest question you've gotten about your locks? Typical question. Is that your hair? I don't know, maybe because they're so thick or because of the color, people think that they're either extensions or what are those other little like faux locks that people get? And I've gotten that, I only say that's the weirdest because I've gotten it like four different times and it's always when I'm in Walmart, somebody always wants to ask me, that's your hair? Girl, you got some thick, that's all your hair. You got some thick hair on your head. I know. Thank you. Bye. 17. Have you ever had a freak accident or embarrassing moment involving your locks? Not with this set, thank God. No. First set, yes. I accidentally cut one of them off and had to reattach it with a, a little crochet hook. So, but no. 18. Do you have locked role models? If so, who? Role models? If I had to pick, I would say Narissa Irving. And that's only because of 
how free she is. And if y'all know who she is, you know what I mean. So like as far as the way she carries herself, her, you know, the way she takes her pictures and just her overall energy, like she's just, I love her. So Narissa Irving would be my locked role model. 19, what locked YouTubers could you see yourself hanging out with in real life? So let me see. Barbadian261, I love her. And I've been following her on Instagram and YouTube for years. Like I, I love her, she's the bomb. Urban Locks, love her. Lena B, it used to be Slay Lena, I believe. Her locks are beautiful. She's in New York and she's hilarious. Um, Jalicia, if y'all know who Jalicia is, wild. I love her. Trini, you know, Ireland girl. I love her. Uh, Desiree, she's newer. She's a newer locked YouTuber, but her videos and her aura, her energy, I love her too. Curly New Growth. So that is a digital loctician, Jocelyn Renee. She is so informative and so approachable. Like, I really love her. Roxy J. So she's a tattoo artist in VA. Her hair is dope. She started her locks herself as well. Her artwork, her tattoos, like, these women are all fire. Like, I love all of them. Now, all those people that I named, their personalities and how I see them act on their channel, as well as on Instagram, I'm like, yeah they cool like i could i could kick it with them and last question number 20 who am i gonna take you so if any of y'all want to do the lock tag and y'all have locks whether you just started them whether you've had them for a while and you've never done the 20 lock tag question video go for it do it do it it's a little you know took a little bit of time how long i've been talking to y'all over 10 minutes but it's it's interesting to kind of sit and think about the things that people ask you about your own hair. So yeah, this was this was cool. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If I can find pictures of the ladies that I mentioned as far as my hanging out with YouTubers in real life, I will insert pictures of them at the end of the video just to show them a little bit of love and y'all can see their faces. And what else? That's all. So I will see y'all in my next video. Be good to each other. Take care. <laughs> And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.